a government can't keep up with the demand of and fast efficiency of technology. Uh, so, like the regulations that uh, outlaw this sort of uh, activity, uh, you know, predates I guess during the time where it was just mostly limousines and taxi cab services uh, of yeah. those kinds of nature. So this is like, uh, and and the law was so old that it takes time to change it. So it'll probably take another year uh, for the government to kind of legalize this sort of behavior activity. Yeah. Um, so yeah, DMV is uh, being another you know, extortionist arm of the state, um, saying you know, fuck you and your your I guess way of trying to uh, help people, uh, I guess, have, have working lives because yeah, it's providing well, to, business. To meet a demand too, actually, like when the when the taxi cab service recently went on strike in London, that was only for an hour just to make a statement. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that caused severe traffic congestion. But like during that time period, the customer's satisfaction is going down with them and it's going up with Uber. So Uber's rides, uh, ridership is going up, they said almost 850%. Hmm. So I mean they're rising as you know the rising competitor because it's so efficient yeah. and simple and um, so th what the taxi lobbyists are really saying is that we should you know we should be able to either steal Uber's business model or you know uh. nobody can use it at all but you know the public sector is always slow with upgrading technology and so you know so slower than one thing I hate about uh, businesses and advocate for government uh, they're like. Uh, like fucking uh, jealous tax slaves. Uh, they're saying, well, look, the government's taking this much from us. We're being licensed. We're being regulated. We're being, you know, whipped mm -hmm. all the time uh, through state regulation. Uh, like PayPal, for example, pays to, like I was saying, nearly half their profit on, uh, you know, keeping away the state uh, in, in terms of state regulation. Mm -hmm. uh, so for uh, these taxi cabs, that's kind of what they're looking at Uber, looking at Lyft, looking at even in London, uh, these kind of unions. Uh, they look at this co competitor and say, well, you guys haven't suffered in the way we have suffered. You know, yeah. uh, It's unfair that you're not being treated as equal tax slaves. Um, so you get this kind of jealous competition, um, you know, trying to use the, the arm and uh, the violence of the state to get involved. Um, Very much. And it's, it's even worse in, in London. Right. And that's not capitalism. Yeah. That's not capitalism. Capitalism is respect for uh, pri private property uh, and voluntary trade. So when trying to advocate for government, that becomes crony capitalism that doesn't has nothing to do with the free market um, so yeah with, with that it's uh that so here, here's what the DMV's pro actually and their cease and desist letter. Mm. So, uh, Commissioner Richard Holcomb, uh, shitbag, uh, told representatives for both companies that he is once again making clear that they must stop operating in Virginia until they get the proper authority. Yeah. Yeah. How how dare you try to make a living for yourself? How dare you try to yeah. uh, involve yourself in voluntary interactions with other people? Right. Yeah. But then there's also the angle that you know. Um, that I mean, we called them a glorified taxi service in the beginning, but you know they don't call themselves that. They call themselves a driver for hire or a ride sharing service. Yeah. So they're you know they're using you know the terminology to kind of meet this loophole that they were kind of expecting, um, where they do get that in other countries, but uh, it's not working out in Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in response, uh, <laughs> in response, Lip basically said "fuck you" to the government and said that they'll continue to operate in Virginia. Mm. So, uh, in, in the face of those threats, uh, you know, there's like, look, we're going to do what we're going to do. This is our property, well, this is our vehicle. They didn't literally say fuck you, they, but uh, they were like, we provide, uh, you know, a safe service to our customers. Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. So we, we provide our, we regulate ourselves, we, we yeah. covered our own insurance, we took all the measures in states to provide a safe uh, service for, for their customers. Um, and it's great reviews. <laughs> People love it. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, when the government's not getting a cut, that's when they want to get involved. Um, so yeah, they, and the fact that they said they're going to continue anyways essentially says fuck you. Yeah. Um, whereas a lot of businesses and a lot of people are afraid in the backlash of the state, these people are contesting the, uh, I guess the, the site, the, I guess, what do they call it? The citation fine, um, mm. the extortion fee. Yeah. Uh, so they're contesting it, they're taking a court, as should anyone always take uh, the, anything that you're kind of accused of to court um, and look up Mark Stevens. Um, but yeah, once again, remember this is, uh, in terms of these vehicles, this is, the, there's a private owner to these vehicles. The state does not own any of that stuff. Your car belongs to you, like your body belongs to you. Uh, but whenever you advocate for government, this is the kind of, you know, crony bullshit that you get. Um, I guess involvement in this kind of a uh, voluntary area in this life in this market that's just flourishing is thriving yeah. and um, providing efficient uh, transportation um, yeah. so and this is something as easy as like me and you could start right now I mean yeah. it's like it's it, and again when I was back back when I was saying whenever there's a profit to me be made especially with a new idea which is usually created by the next generation yeah. um, and advances of technology they see that and they want to you know squash it quickly because I mean 
well, not only do they want to be paid, but they don't want people comp competing with them. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar to something we also know as a mafia. Yeah. Or, a, you know, your local drug dealer. Don't deal on my turf or anything. Yeah. Like, you know, like, so it's just, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a fucking it's, shame. It's keeping us down. You know, like, something as simple that we, you know, know how to use very efficiently, effectively, um, yeah, we, we can't profit from it. Right. We always kind of lose that opportunity. And profit is just another word for reward, and that's, that's right. essentially what these uh, clients and our customers right. are doing. They they enjoy the service. You know, here, here's the reward. I accept them right. into the terms and conditions. I value the service more than what I'm uh, trading in, in return. Um, so which is great because that means that they can employ more people, expand and grow, and uh, keep evolving with that. I mean, they have apps for this. I think that's, that's beautiful. That's awesome. Like, fast efficiency. Yeah, half of human knowledge yeah. <laughs> history is on your in, carrying in your pocket, and you can't use it for what you could be using it for. It's right. kind of you know you're depriving that right from also you know consumers of technology. Yeah, I mean of being able to kind of go forward and progress and, mm -hmm. and you no, know, but we got to wait for the, the black cabbie service, the old funky little black cabs yeah. <laughs> with plastic seat covers and rattly doors. And mm -hmm. it's like supposed to be this iconic thing for London. And, but the residents have already expressed their, you know, satisfaction with it. So, I mean, they sure just don't want to change with the time. Yeah. And it sort of beats right in the Metro, especially in DC. So, yeah. uh, that monopoly again of uh, transportation. Um, yeah, so with that, I don't know if there's any kind of backlash, anger, so you have directed towards the DMV uh, Commissioner uh, Richard uh, Holcomb and uh, tell him, no, fuck you, you know, tell him you're not invited to my store, you're not invited to my, my, my place of business. Yeah. Uh, you know, this, this, these are the people who are hurting the economy. These are the kind of people who are kind of robbing uh, potential uh, job openings, um, growth yeah. of business, employment. Um, 